All right, so uh, it's uh, been a lot longer than I would have liked since my last vlog, um, but a couple of life things happened. Um, that being said, one of the major ones is I've now moved to New Hampshire. Um, so I'm out here in the White Mountain National Forest, and what I'm going to do is hopefully over the next couple of years, I'm not going to do it like all in one go, but over the next couple of years, there are 48 4,000 foot mountains here. And the plan is to hike all of them. Uh, I'm starting with Mount Tecumseh, which is supposed to be one of the easier ones with some nice outlooks. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and head up a 4,000 foot mountain. First stop, uh, there is a creek running by the trail, um, and the light is hitting it just right. So what we're going to do is we're going to snap off a couple of exposures, see if we get anything. Um, I'm not super expecting to get a lot out of this trip, but uh, you know, something's better than nothing. All right, let's go take the photo. I uh, found another photo opportunity, this time at another creek, as you can probably also hear. Um, so we've got a couple little cascades here. So what I'm going to do is I slap the uh, six stop ND filter on. Um, that'll, you know, allow me to use a longer shutter speed and allow me to really blur that water. Um, now the nice thing about this scene is there's some pine branches coming down and that gives it a little bit of foreground interest. Not that this is an extremely deep photo, um, but you know, it's nice to have a little bit of interest. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bracket my exposure from negative 2 to plus 2. And the reason I'm bracketing is not because I want to do an HDR merge, it's because I want to take one shot and then move on. Um, you know, this is more of a scouting thing even though I've brought my entire kit out, um, which is starting to bite me in the ass if we're being absolutely honest. I am profusely sweating and very tired right now. Um, but without my entire kit, I wouldn't be able to get these kind of shots. So, you know, it's a, it's a give and take. And I'm not saying I took the course for granted, but <sighs> mountains suck. <laughs> like, I don't know, the last mile or so was straight uphill. And uh, I've been told the view is worth it. Now, as we all know, a good view does not mean a good photo. But I am hopeful that this was not essentially photographically a waste because um, <laughs> if it is I might be a little bit angry all right see you at the summit all right so I have officially summited my first 4,000 footer a um, few thoughts on the summit uh, it's not bad photographically, it's just today's really hazy. Um, I got one, maybe two good exposures, um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. If I got anything, I'll put it in here. And if not, well, maybe I'll cut out my last sentence, who knows. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, um, you know, it was hazy because it's high humidity, but I kind of wanted to get out, get back in the groove, you know, have something to edit, 
and uh, you know I think that this was perfect for it. Um, you know, obviously this is supposedly, according to a lot of lists, the easiest 4,000 footer. That does not mean it is in fact easy, um, and it is not easy when you have 40 pounds of gear on your back. Um, that being said, been enjoyable getting out, and now I just have to get down from the mountain, which is going to be a lot easier than climbing up the mountain. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it. So I can't guarantee weekly anymore, but until next time. Mm -hmm.